In the high-stakes world of Formula One, fortunes can change in the blink of an eye. The story of Mercedes's recent resurgence is nothing short of remarkable, a testament to the team's unwavering determination and engineering prowess. After a prolonged period in the midfield wilderness, the Silver Arrows have roared back to life with back-to-back -back victories. Lewis Hamilton's record-breaking 104th win at Silverstone wasn't just a victory. It was a statement. The 1,000-day drought had ended and Mercedes was back in business. The transformation from midfield strugglers to potential title contenders has been nothing short of extraordinary. It's a story of relentless pursuit, innovative thinking and the sheer will to succeed against all odds. Toto Wolff, the ever-confident team principal, has been at the helm of this remarkable turnaround. His unwavering belief in the team's potential has been a driving force behind their recent success. Getting much better, Wolf declared, and the results speak for themselves. With both Lewis Hamilton and George Russell securing wins this season, Mercedes joins Ferrari as the only teams to achieve this feat. It's a clear indicator of the team's overall strength and depth. The victory in Austria may have been aided by circumstances, but it was no fluke. At Silverstone, Hamilton converted his P2 start into a win with sheer pace and skill, proving that Mercedes is genuinely back in the fight. Wolf's words resonate with the team's philosophy, we've got to finish the season on a high. It's not just about individual victories, it's about building momentum and setting the stage for future success. The Silver Arrows aren't resting on their laurels. With planned upgrades for Budapest and Spa, Mercedes is signalling its intent to push even harder in the second half of the season. These aren't just incremental improvements, they're the result of a fundamental shift in understanding the car's behaviour. As Wolf explains, suddenly everything that didn't make sense made sense. It's a breakthrough that could redefine the championship battle. The team's focus on enhancing the 2024 car's development trajectory shows their long-term vision. They're not just fighting for this season, they're laying the groundwork for sustained success. 945 days. That's how long Lewis Hamilton, one of the greatest drivers in F1 history, waited for his next victory. His emotional win at Silverstone was more than just a triumph. It was a reaffirmation of his incredible talent and determination. Hamilton's performance in changing conditions was masterful, a reminder of why he's a seven-time world champion. His post-race emotions were raw and genuine. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. It was a moment that encapsulated the highs and lows of his recent journey. Today was special, Hamilton reflected. His comparison of this win to a world championship victory underscores its significance. It wasn't just about breaking a streak. It was about proving to himself and the world that he still has what it takes to compete at the highest level. As Mercedes celebrates its return to form, attention inevitably turns to Hamilton's impending move to Ferrari. It's a decision that has raised eyebrows, especially in light of Mercedes's recent success and Ferrari's current struggles. Yet Hamilton remains steadfast in his choice. His simple yes when asked if he would still make the move speaks volumes about his commitment to this new challenge. It's not just a change of teams, it's a new chapter in the career of one of F1's greatest drivers. Toto Wolff's perspective on Hamilton's departure is both professional and poignant. We are adults. We take decisions, he says. It's a reminder that in F1, change is constant, and even the strongest partnerships eventually evolve. The Silverstone victory adds a touch of fairy tale to Hamilton's Mercedes swan song. As Wolf puts it, it's almost like a little fairy tale. It's a fitting tribute to a partnership that has defined an era in Formula One. At the heart of Mercedes' resurgence is technical director James Allison. His return to a hands-on role has been pivotal in unlocking the car's potential. Allison's approach has been methodical and insightful. As Wolf explains, there was a moment where, led by James, suddenly the data made sense. It wasn't about reinventing the wheel, but rather about understanding and optimising what they already had. The focus on car balance rather than flashy upgrades shows the team's mature approach. It's not about quick fixes, it's about building a solid foundation for sustained performance. Wolf's excitement is palpable. We are finding performance, we are putting it on the car, and it translates into lap time. It's a return to form for a team that had grown accustomed to success, and a warning shot to their rivals.
As we enter the second half of the F1 season, the resurgence of Mercedes has injected new life into the championship battle. The Silver Arrows are back, not just as occasional race winners, but as genuine title contenders. The coming weeks and months promise to be thrilling. Can Mercedes sustain their newfound pace? Will their rivals find answers to this latest challenge? One thing is certain. The fight for Formula One supremacy is far from over. The story of Mercedes' comeback is more than just about race wins and championship points. It's a testament to the resilience, innovation and sheer determination that define the pinnacle of motorsport. As the season unfolds, all eyes will be on the Silver Arrows, watching to see if this remarkable resurgence can lead them back to the top of Formula One.